Jake Morin, head pit crew coach. I coordinate the day-to-day -day practices. I uh, work with the strength and conditioning coach, make sure the guys have everything they need for uh, the weekend, whatever track we're going to, equipment needs, things like that. There's always something different from track to track that, that we have to take into account. Look good, yeah. We, we work out five days a week. We practice four days a week. Skills and drills, film breakdown, livestock, situational, uh, little competitive practices here and there to make sure the guys are, are up to snuff when the, when the pressure's on. Basically, I just assist the, the head pit crew coach uh, with anything from our daily daily routine of practice, coaching, basically anything that I see that the head coach might not see. Number one guy is Jack Man. Uh, he's kind of like our quarterback. The stop begins and ends with him. Jack the right side, pull the right rear, and set it behind the carrier. Come around, same on the left side. You stay good. Yeah, that's me. So how cool is that? Every time he takes off, he doesn't go and do you stay good. Uh, that's cool until I say go too early. <laughs> Next position, we go down the line to your, your front changer. Off the wall again, ahead of the car. Usually around one, one to 1 to 1.1 seconds to get five lug nuts off. Gets the tire out of the wheel well and sets it again upright for his carry to take it back to the wall once the tire's on. Five lug nuts on, travels around and, and repeats the same process on the left side. The biggest thing about the whole situation is just being smooth. If you're smooth, it's fast. If you get overexcited, you make mistakes, and, and the more smooth and consistent you can be, the speed's always there. It's fun. It's a rush, and it's like every time you go over the wall, you get that that feeling. Gas man, uh, over the wall with about 85 to 90, 90 pounds of, of fuel, 11 gallons per, per can. Catch can man gets plugged in as soon as possible, because he has to be engaged. Uh, when the fuel can gets plugged in. Rear changer, rear carrier, again, there's a group come out um, to the right side after the car has already come through the box, they're chasing it down. If one person's off, it throws everybody else off. Teamwork uh, is, is a big part of, uh, of working on a pit crew. You know, these guys go from zero to 100 uh, every time they go over the wall, so they have to be ready at all times and aware of, of which car is to our left and to our right and, and adjustments that we might make or damage repair at what they have to do on top of changing the tires and, and everything. Uh, they're a very, I have to say, a cerebral team. These guys think everything through. They're very precise, as opposed to just going out over the wall as the, the chest-thumping chest athlete, per se. Um, but they're very tuned into what they need to do and, and how they need to do it on a week-to-week -week basis. One, two, three. three.